Solving quadratic equations by factoring. A quadratic equation is an equation with 2 as the highest exponent on its variable. We'll use a basic version of the zero product rule to solve quadratic equations by factoring. The zero product rule states that if we have a product equal to zero, such as a times b equals zero, then each individual factor, a then b, can be set equal to zero, rather a equals zero and b equals zero. We can solve quadratic equations by factoring if necessary, and then use the zero product rule. Say we want to solve n squared equals 10n. I can subtract 10n on both sides to get n squared minus 10n equals zero. The zero is important in using the zero product rule. On the factoring video, we saw that the left-hand side of this equation can also be written as n times n minus 10. So n equals zero and also n minus 10 equals zero. Rather, n equals both zero and 10, which I'll write into roster notation using braces. If we want to solve s squared plus 2s minus 24 equals zero, we can factor the left-hand side into s plus six times s minus four. Using the zero product rule, I get that s plus six equals zero and separately s minus four equals zero. Our final answer should be that s equals both negative six and four. If we now have that 3x squared minus 2 equals negative 5x, we'll add 5x to both sides so that we can use the zero product rule. On the factoring video, we saw that 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 factored out into x plus 2 times 3x minus 1. This means that x plus 2 equals 0 and separately 3x minus 1 equals 0. The first equation is relatively quick to solve, like the previous examples, and we get x equals negative 2. The other equation requires that we add 1 to both sides as well as divide by 3, leaving x equals 1 over 3. You have learned how to use the zero product rule to solve quadratic equations as well as how to write out a solution set using roster notation.